Hey guys, welcome to the 2017 MCAT preparation. In this session, we're going to be looking at simplifying fractions. All right, so let's get started. So obviously, this is one of the styles of questions they're looking at this year is Seth has written this 3x over 4 plus 2x plus 3 over 6 equals 7x plus 6 over 12. Is he correct? And show your reasoning. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to work with the left hand side of um, this equation. So I've got 3x over 4 plus 2x plus 3 over 6. And I think if you had watched in the previous video um, that if you were to cross multiply, you were going to actually end up with, um, well, when you cross multiply, make sure it doesn't have any common factors. With 4 and 6, you've got a common factor of 2. So in other words, if I list down my um, to find the lowest multiple of 4 and 6, I've got 4, 8, and 12, and 6 and 12. If you had cross multiplied, what would have happened is 4 times 6 is 24. And so what you're actually doing is you're not actually dealing with the lowest common multiple, which in this case is 12. But if you cross multiply, then you'll be working with 24. And so you kind of need to simplify it later on. So rather than creating more work for yourself, try and find the lowest common multiple and work from there. All right, so with 6, we want to multiply the denominator by 2 and the numerator by 2. And with the 4 in the denominator here, we've got to multiply by 6 in the denominator and 6 in the numerator. So simplifying this, 6 times 3x is 18x over, sorry, did I just make a mistake there? Yes, I did. I have. I shouldn't have actually multiplied by 6. I should have multiplied by 3. don't know why I thought like that. Okay, so let's try that one again. So we've got 3 times 3 is 9x. 4 times 3 is 12. Plus, now, really important that when you multiply 2 with 2x plus 3, that you're multiplying every term. So you got to do something like this. 2 times 2x is 4x. 2 times 3 is 6, and that whole thing is divided by 2. So what you have is 9x plus 4x plus 6 over 12. And simplifying this, you're going to get 13x plus 6 over 12. And if you look at the answer that Seth has actually written, Seth has written 12, 6, but he hasn't actually got the coefficient of x correct. So you basically say, no, he's not correct. Or no, he is incorrect. Okay, that's basically it for this question, guys. I'm going to do one more style, which is the subtraction. And I guarantee you, people always make a mistake with the next type of question that I'm going to show you guys. And here's what it looks like. So we have, if 3x over 4 minus 2x plus 3 over 6 equals ax plus b over c. Find a, b, and c and show your reasoning. So... Basically, we are doing the exact same thing as we did in the previous question. All right, we are going to find the lowest common multiple between 4 and 6. Now, we already know that it's 12, so I'm kind of going to st uh, skip through that little step of trying to show you guys what the coefficients are. And I'm just going to say, well, I know 12 is the lowest common multiple, so I'll multiply this by 2 and multiply this by 2. And on this side, I've got multiplied by 3 and 3 in the numerator. So this simplifies to 9x over 4. Now, here's where people make mistake. What people end up doing is um, they actually go 2 times 2x is 4x, 2 times 3 is 6, and then they forget about this negative sign. So what you need to remember that that negative, it's almost like there's a little negative 1 in front of 2x plus 3. So what you're really doing is you're going 2 multiplied by negative 1 multiplied by 2x, which means you're going to end up, well, let me rewrite it for you guys so you can kind of see it. So that would be 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And then in the bracket, I've got 2x plus 3. I just realized I've got 12 here. And that's over 12. Now, if I expand it, I'm going to get negative 2 times 2 is negative 4x. Negative 2 times plus 3 is negative 6. And the whole thing is divided by 12. Simplifying this, I'm going to get 5x minus 6 over 12. And I can say, therefore, a is equal to 5, b equals minus 6, c equals to 12. 
okay? And most people, the part where they make a mistake is this area here, where sometimes people write this as 9x minus 4x plus 6 over 12. So you've really got to be careful with this negative sign there. All right, guys, that's basically it for this type of questions today. If you have any questions, pop it in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them. But apart from that, thank you for watching.